Hey, Sabrina here, and today I want to talk to you about selfie sticks. I want to tell you what I love about a good selfie stick and what really drives me crazy. And what sort of inspired me to make this video is I'm working with someone who is such a talented coach and has so much to offer their clients. And I'm, and I'm sharing with him how you, know, you need to be on video, you need to do social media, you need to let people see you, meet you, where they say, no, I can trust you. And you need to be on video so you can make offers, so you can post a Facebook uh, video and say, hey, if you wanna know more information about me, send me a private message. So a lot of times, you know, we're all a one woman show or a one man show. So the selfie stick comes into play when we're trying to make the videos. And the most convenient way to do it these days, I think, is with a phone and a selfie stick. So here's one selfie stick. And I would suggest if you're getting one or two or three or four, like I have several, my husband and I, um, get one with a tripod bottom so that you can not only carry it around, but if you need to prop it up on a table or maybe by your computer, you know, you might be doing a Facebook Live and an Instagram Live at the same time. You may want two recordings. So the tripod bottom is really good. Let me tell you what I'm not a super fan of is the way that some of them extend where you have to do this twisting type motion. And the reason why isn't the end result. It, it has more to do with, well, first of all, I find it difficult to get it exactly where I want it. It seems a little random, but also it's really cool. We do these things called walks and talks, and that's usually when we're so busy. Uh, this is mainly with my company Satori Method that I run with my husband that we need to do a video and we need to walk the dog. So we're like, well, it's gonna be a walk and talk. So we just uh, put the phone on and we walk down the street and we shoot the video as we're walking the dogs. And these are some of people's favorite videos because it's so interesting. They're getting to see the scenery. They're getting to see where you live. If we pass by some interesting plant or something, we do a close up and it just really feels like you're there with them. And if you need to adjust the length and it has this twisting motion, I feel it, it can make them feel seasick. So what I prefer instead is, again, I, I love the tripod bottom because you can always just close it and most of the, the tripod bottoms just twist off anyway, is I like, and I don't care what brand it is, I'm not trying to sell anything, this kind of quick release. It's on like most of the tripods that we have that we use at home. Um, so if I was doing a walk and talk and then all of a sudden I wanted to stop for a while without disturbing the viewer, I feel like I can in a very smooth way extend it where they don't feel seasick and can do that adjustment. So that's pretty much it. Um, I, I try to keep a selfie stick in the car. Uh, we have a couple at home. Uh, we do a lot of live streaming of classes that have physical movement, like I do a, a workout every week that I live stream. And I do that from an iPad on a tripod. And sometimes I just tip the tripod so that they can see our feet. We live stream uh, Tai Chi and Qigong classes from a park. And so we will do what we call the walk and talk and the touring to a more stabilizing view. And so that's why this, um, I don't remember what it's called, <laughs> fast lock. These, these little things rather than the, the twisty version seem much better. Also a wider leg tripod, if you're gonna be outdoors where there's wind and things like that are gonna work a lot better. So I hope that helps. And if you didn't catch my last video that I posted, it was really about the camera is not a mirror that you really wanna know where to look so that you can connect with your people. Make sure you see that one. And I'm so excited because I'm realizing more and more that to have a business online these days, video is so important. We were talking about it the other night. We're like, okay, we, we give free content. We do content marketing through video. Instagram can be very video based. We do our sales pages with the video at the top. We deliver our programs through video. We VIP with our clients through Skype, which is video. We certify people through Zoom, which is video. So there's, there's so many little easy, easy, easy things to implement 
through video that I've been doing for years as sort of the background person at Satori Method that I'd love to share with you because I think knowing these simple things is gonna easily help you take your business to the next level and feel more confident and more comfortable on camera. Okay, I'll see you next time. Please leave me a comment if there's a place wherever you're watching this and let me know what you think and like the page and give me some love and tell me you wanna know more. Thanks, bye.